So, what did the coach have to say, Brian? Are you fit to play? No. Not this week, I guess. Muscle in my thigh spazzed out something awful during wind sprints, so coach wants to bench me this Friday. But we did have sex in the shower afterwards, so that was really good. What? We had sex in the shower afterward, and it was really cool. You and the coach? That's a sick thing to say, and it's not funny. Oh, no. I'm not kidding. I'm just glad my first time wasn't with some idiot who didn't know what he was doing. It hurt like the dickens at first. It's kind of big, I guess. Really? Yeah. But then I just sort of let go of something in my head, and it didn't hurt anymore. This concerns me, Brian. Don't let it, Mom. He's a real responsible man. He used a condom. Well, good. I, that's good. I, just a little worried about his judgment. Yeah, there is something a little bit foolish about it, I'm afraid. Don't get me wrong. I'm thrilled that you've had your first experience. Absolutely. And I'm thrilled that it's with somebody who knows what he's doing. And I'm thrilled that he was safe. <laughs> if he wasn't, I'd have to wring his neck. <laughs> I'm just concerned. And I think your mother's on the same page. Correct me if I'm wrong, Betty. I'm just concerned he could lose his job over such a thing. And he's the best coach we've had in 15 years. Why would he lose his job? I'm of age, and I wanted it. I've wanted it for three years. It was concentric sex. I think you mean consensual sex. Yeah, consensual. I'm not sure it's a law, but I feel certain it's written down somewhere. Students are not allowed to have sexual relations with their teachers. No, it's the teachers that aren't allowed to have sexual relations with the students. Semantics, but I think you're right. You know, I think I might have to have a talk with him. No, Mom, don't. Then it'll be all weird. You won't want to do it anymore. I've waited for this forever. I'm sure you have, honey. It would be like going to the prom, and right when you get there, the power goes out. I understand, son. <laughs> Believe you me, your mother and I understand. I just think that it might be better if you cool your jets until graduation, and then see how you feel. Well, what am I supposed to do in the meantime? I only know one other gay kid at school, and he's in the drama club, and so not hot. Oh, I'm sure there are others. What about that Dillinger kid? No way. He wears bronzer. I'll end up with these weird tan spots. Oh, baby. This must be so frustrating for you. But your father and I really do know what we're talking about. I mean, you don't want to see him lose his job, do you? God, no, I'd be miserable. Okay, then. Can you give it some thought? All right. I will. Did you climax quickly? My first time I lasted less than 15 seconds. Was that with me? Yes, it certainly was. <laughs> it didn't seem like 15 seconds. Stop! <laughs> Caroline! Honey, are you sick? No, don't help me! Don't touch me! Honey, what's the matter? Should I go after her? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, you don't think she has a thing for the coach, do you? Oh, crap. I didn't even think about that. <sighs> could be. But she could also just be tired. Mm -hmm. We have to remember, the accident was not as kind to her as it was to us. I'll check on her after dinner. Bring her a Coke. I feel horrible. Don't be silly, son. It's a big day for you. No pun intended. You should feel great. <laughs>